Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I'd like to welcome you to episode 47 of Doodle Gems. This time we are doing a stone that looks a little spacey. It's called Dragon's Breath. It is really easy and it's being done on black paper. Come on, I'll show you how to do it. All right, so we're gonna get started here with a Mexican Dragon's Breath Fire Opal, which isn't even a real opal. Mexican Dragon's Breath Fire Opals are actually art glass. And it was developed in Czechoslovakia way, way back. as a way for people to have pretty looking gems made into jewelry that didn't cost a whole lot of money. They, they were actually more expensive because to get these colors that flash through, you would have to include certain types of precious metals. Certain metals, when melted into glass, cause it to have a color shifting quality. The neat thing about Dragon's Breath is that these end up looking very much like uh, star filled sky space type scenes. And so this Dragon's Breath is going to end up looking very much like the sun in the distance with a galaxy Milky Way type of look in front of it. So there's some little white spots and where a lot of this white that I'm just putting in in sort of a cloudy type of format, where this is, is going to be more blue and a little bit of red. I am going to go ahead and get my yellow and I want, I think I'm going to put a, just the tiniest bit of white for the yellow to start on top of. Since we are doing this on a black card, if I put that white underneath of it and then work my way out, that center of the yellow has more punch. And I'm going to grab the poppy. That yellow was the actually yellowed orange. And I'm going to grab the poppy red and take that right in next to that brightly glowing planet. It's actually where the highlight is because this gem or this piece of glass that's masquerading as a gem is actually kind of an orangey, orangey reddish tone, but it has metals that are included in it when it's being made, the glass, that causes it to shift colors. And it glows in certain spots and it doesn't in others. So we've got blues and we've got reds and we've got yellows. And now I've got the Scarlet Lake. It's sort of my darkest of the reds. It's a little bit more of a blue red. And it's going to go around the outside here. Working on this dark paper helps to give those dark, those darker tones without so much work. And one of the things that I was thinking about is that this would be really pretty cut out and put into one of the glass cabochons. So I'm probably going to do that with this or with one like it because I didn't lay a cabochon down 
to draw it the right size. So this one's probably just going to end up with a lovely little doodled, a white doodled. Doodle setting around it. I'm just bringing some of that white in around the outside edge again. So now I have a blue lake, blue colored pencil. And I'm going to take that over the white and sort of soften those edges up. Maybe bring it up into the red a little bit. And just keep softening those edges up a little bit. I'm not going to take it over my little white dots. Those are going to end up looking more, well, maybe I will. Yeah, why not? I can bring a little bit more white in in a bit. And now I'm going to grab the violet and sort of darken up areas around the edges of the blue. Sort of blending that blue out, making it look a little more spacey. I love how th pretty much anything galaxy is really popular right now. I've always loved space, learning about the stars. And I kind of went right over some of my dark of my blue and just totally lost it. But then other areas, I'm doing it right up against those edges of it. Laying in some of it again around the edge bringing it into a bit darker area there. Pretty much filling in all of the black areas with this purple. So let me pick that card up so you can see a little bit better. Look at that. Ooh. That's looking cool. So I want to bring in some more of the white, or excuse me, more of the yellow and sort of work it out. Kind of filling in some of these spaces. I want to put a little bit of that yellow down in here. Even though yellow and purple are complementary colors and it will kind of gray out a little bit. If it's too much, look at that. Bring a bit of the white back in because then you can get more of that cloudiness now, that flash, even in the purple areas but mostly just on that light blue. Hmm, pretty. Brighten up that, that yellow dot right there. And see that white is actually doing a really good job brightening up that yellow. So look at that. Wow. A little bit more brighter white. Some white along this edge. Look at that. We just blend it down just a little bit. Take some of that purple back in. See, this is sort of that layering process where you're, you're going in, you're doing a little bit, 
you go, oh, I need to refine that just a bit. Get that almost an aurora looking band going through. And some of it almost looks like there's another planet. Maybe this is a nebula where a planet is developing. It can be pretty much anything since the it's glass. So now I'm going to use my colorless blender and then wipe that off. Just go in here, push this color around a little bit. Try not to run the purple and the yellow orange color together. Staying pretty much purples and blues and whites right now. I see a spot where I need to bring a little more white back in. There we go. All right, and now I want a bit more of that red right up here. Sort of take over a bit of that black. That black in the background just gives you a tone. So now I think I was saying before that if you see these stones and they're not being held at just the right angle for you, they just look sort of a brownish golden color. Um, they're not, they're not really all that grand looking, but if you hold them just a slight angle, you start seeing that fire in them. And people are very confused by the name Mexican fire opal dragon's breath because there really are fire opals. And real fire opals in Mexico are a jelly opal. They'll be very transparent. They will be all basically one color. They are deep, bright orange or a deep, bright orange red or a deep, bright yellow orange but they don't have those little flashes of color in them. Fire opals are actually all one color. The regular opals that we're used to seeing that come out of Australia, those with the flashes of fire in them are just opals. <laughs> They're not actually fire opals. So now I am going to go ahead and get my pen started off screen. So now I'm going to go ahead and get a highlight around the edges, a highlight coming over the top. And a highlight right here. And that just makes it look maybe a tiny bit, a little bit of a dot. Actually, a few little dots down in here are fine also. Look at that. Oh, that just looks like a, a pretty little... Like a little galaxy. There you go. So we're going to do a quick and easy, very pretty little setting on this, and it is going to be done in white. If I can get my pen to behave, it is actually starting to run out. So 
So I've got more ordered. We're going to do pretty little flower petal type setting. Just like that. Then we're going to do, I think it's actually going to have little square flags that are sort of going across. They don't necessarily match up. I'm doodling. And it's kind of fun to doodle on black paper. Your white really shows up. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, here, let's tip that so you can see it better. Look at that. That gem, dragon's breath, fire opal. That's pretty. And I think because I want to, I am going to put a dot in each one of these petals. I can't do as detailed of a doodle design with this white pen. So I'm, I'm trying to pay very close attention here. Actually, in my paying very close attention here, I need to put a little bit more of like a white line running through right here. This is down inside the stone and I'm going to take the poppy right over it. And then blender. I just wanted to have that extra little bit in there and I forgot to do it. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but it makes a difference to me. You can see how you can go back and you can work on your design if it isn't everything you want it to be. A design is never truly finished until you say it is. There we go. All right. So back to the, back to the pen here. So now I'm going to put like a little petal line, petal crease. There you go. And sort of like flower petals or leaves going around it. I like that. I think this is our last round. Around that petal. Except that I'm going to do an outline around them all. Go back up to over here. And then connect that line all the way down between the little squares 
for each petal. So if it's coming at an angle, it's coming at an angle. There we go. Hmm. Yep, I think I'm going to, let's see, I think I'm just going to give these an extra little line at the top just to give them a little more weight on these little squares. This is a fun little doodle. I'm pretty happy with that. So here you go. We have a Mexican fire opal dragon's breath, a Czechoslovakian costume jewelry glass, but it's such a pretty, pretty gem. It looks like a real gem and it looks like you've captured a galaxy that you could wear. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you had fun doing it. If you did, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Remember, go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. Bye-bye.